In problem number 30 of Appendix A, we look at um, another uh, number that we can attach to, uh, we can use to describe a curve, and that's the curvature. And if we're given a curve that's defined by a position vector P of T, uh, then curvature is, we're assuming that the position vector is twice differentiable and also that the speed is never zero. Then we can define the curvature as um, Paulet kappa of T is equal to uh, the magnitude of um, the unit tangent vector, the, de uh, the derivative of the unit tangent vector over um, the magnitude of uh, the derivative or the velocity of the position vector. So if we're given the um, position as equal to, or you're right, that the position function is equal to 2 plus 4 cosine t, 3 plus 4 sine t, and 0. And we want to find the curvature of this, of this curve um, at, the, at time t. So first step is just to compute the quantities that we need. So let's, uh, first we'll need uh, the derivative or velocity uh, of the curve, which will just be, okay, take the derivative of the first component of minus 4 sine t, and in the second component we'll have 4 cosine t, and we'll just have 0 in the third component. Now the magnitude of the velocity, uh, will just be square root of you know, 16 sine squared of t, Plus, and now in the second component, we'll also have 16 squared, or 4 squared, so 16. Uh, so we can factor that out. We get 16 times the quantity sine squared of t plus cosine squared of t. And now this reduces to the square root of 16, or 4, times uh, square root of 1, or just 1. All right, so next we'll need to compute the, um, the unit uh, tangent vector. So the unit tangent vector at time t now is equal to p prime of t over the magnitude of the velocity. And the magnitude of the velocity is 4. So this is going to be 1 fourth times negative 4 sine t, 4 cosine t, 0, which uh, then reduces to just negative sine t, uh, cosine t, and 0. And finally, we need the um, Let's see, actually, no, we have everything we do need because we need the magnitude of the velocity, which we do have. So now we can just substitute in uh, into the formula for the curvature. And, um, no, wait, we do, we do need one more component. We, need the, we computed the um, unit tangent vector, but we need the derivative of this. So the derivative the unit tangent vector will be equal to, this will be minus cosine of t and sine, minus sine t, 0. And the magnitude of this quantity will be, well, this just reduces to the Pythagorean identity, square root of cosine squared of t plus sine squared of t. So the magnitude is just 1. So now the curvature will be uh, the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent vector, which we just found to be 1, over the magnitude of the velocity, which we computed earlier is 4. So we see that the curvature uh, at time t is equal to 1 fourth, so this curve actually has constant curvature.